Hello, everybody. This is Pahamar. And I, uh, Wolf 20. And we are playing Material Energy Hypercube. Ooh. I just made some Meotoid ingots uh, by picking up the liquid and dumping it into our thingy, and we got a bunch of Fluix pearls from that and a greater reward bag. Nice. I'm just finishing cleaning up the rest of the diamonds. I also got chiseled Ender Quartz. Interesting. Ender Quartz? I've never heard of Ender Quartz. Yeah, it's apparently an ender pearl surrounded by quartz, and it's from Santa's decor. Interesting. Okay, that's all the diamonds cleared up. And we can also apparently... Oh, wow, hold on a minute. Nobody panic, but we can turn four mutoit into four ender pearls. So, unlike the original rotunda... There's no glass floor here, so if you go all the way down the ladder, you will just land in molten metal. Wow, my reward bag had more Fluix pearls in it. I don't think you just realized how much ender pearls we just got. So many ender pearls? Um, yeah. Like, stacks and stacks. Like, all that one ingot of Meotite equals one ender pearl. And I've got 50 more ingots in the Tinker's thing over here. So we're not hurting for ender pearls anymore, buddy. Nice. I, don't even, I was going to plant those ender lilies I got last episode, but like at this point, I don't even feel like doing that. So my greater bag had an alien wear, which is apparently a platinum shovel. Yeah. My epic bag had a sword called the Nether. Oh, yeah. I think I got... Something. I got a shovel like that, I think. Uh, fiery Beheading 7. Wow. Auto Smelt Durability plus 50%. Life Steal 6. But not very good materials. Now, if I swap with the materials, am I, gonna am I going to lose all those abilities? No. Hmm. Correct. Hold on to that guy. Yes, do that. Yeah, just remember it has to be fully repaired before you can swap out any materials on it. So we've got 99 Meotoit, which equates to 99 Ender Pearls if we ever need Ender Pearls. So we're pretty good about that. Um, we're going to go exploring deeper into this rotunda area today, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, good. Uh, why don't I real quick look at the quest book because I didn't get a chance to do that. Player interface gives us look at the rewards for player interface quest. Wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> Those can't all be like awesome ones though. Oh, uh, the problem is that it requires another store star to craft. So a wither kill. Yes, we have to kill a wither. But shouldn't that be a lot easier way. now that we have nicer weapons and armor? Theoretically? Yes. Uh, theoretically, potentially. Yeah, I mean, we might be all right. We, we definitely want to do it in a place Eep. that's somewhat contained. And we got those um, wither protective blocks, so we should be able to build a thing that, like, the wither can't get out of. I fell in the metal. And I've done that before, and it makes fighting the wither a lot easier. I don't think you realized I just fell in the metal. I did not realize that. Smoky wool. Oh, we have to find that in the bottom. Oh, of man. Ah, oh, Hamar. I told you, I fell in the metal. I think you yelled at me like I just had an accident on the rug. <laughs> that is uh, probably true. So Meotoit and Eximite combined to make Desicalos. All right, so five of each, Meotoit and Eximite. At least I got my body to a place where I could get my uh, grave really easily. I will, um, sure, whatever you just said. All right, so I'm going to make, <laughs> uh, make this alloy that we need for the quest. We only need one block of it, so I should be getting ten of these ingots. Um, we have a lot of stuff that we can do. One of these days, I'll do the Torturino. 
In the meantime, you have me doing all the messy work. It requires an octuple compressed cookie, octuple compressed cobblestone, and probably a few other things that are expensive. Like Ludicrite. I don't need graphical reminders of all my death spots. We're going to build us plutonium a little safe a platform safe at the bottom here. It's pretty easy to get, if I remember. There's a way to do plutonium. We probably have some, honestly. So I can actually get the ludicrite block. It's the octuple compressed cookie that might be hard. Yeah, I think if we're actually going to need, like, vast amounts of cookies, we might actually want to start, like, farming materials for them. Okay. Maybe I'll look into that briefly and see how easy it is to get. I know it's uh, one of these blocks from big reactors. It's like a plutonium processor or something like that. Cyanite reprocessor. I think that's what gets you plutonium. So I can make Are that. You Are you getting plutonium or blutonium? Blutonium. Then you want the cyanite reprocessor. That's correct. We do not have a well-organized area. We do not. You could do that. Eh. Look, I'm... We have a thing. I'm the guy who makes the space. You're the guy who makes it nice. I think you need water to go along with this thing, don't you? Yes, if I remember correctly. They did! Hooray! We don't need much plutonium. Okay, so let me look into doing some kind of automated cookie thing, and then we'll be back. Does that sound cool? Sounds cool. Back in a minute, guys. Hey, Dyer. Hey, Pahamar. So I have us a bit of a platform at the bottom of the rotunda. Ooh, nifty. Yep. Kind of. I got us cocoa beans. Nice. Yes. Um, so the way I did now. it is um, cocoa beans are made with theobromine in the chemical synthesis machine. And I reasoned that because cookies are made with cocoa beans, that throwing cookies into uh, the chemical decomposer would give you theobromine. And it's a low chance. I threw like 20 cookies in there and got one, but I mean, one's all I needed, so. That's cool. I also got tannic acid, which I think is like the equivalent of brown dye, but eh. Um, so all I need is a wood block and like, that's it, right? Yeah, but I think it has to be jungle wood. Does it have to be jungle wood? I think so. I don't think we have any jungle wood. I can look what the recipe is. So I can make jungle wood with cellulose in the chemical synthesis machine. Oh, and you can get oh. cellulose from potatoes. Well, I think we should have a lot. Yeah, we've got 144 cellulose. I'm, I'm good on jungle wood. You can get cellulose from a lot of things. Where is our watering can? We got that guy. I'm exploring, I'm exploring the bottom deep. rung. Okay. Figured I might as well use this void stone. Am I correct in assuming that watering can will help with cocoa growth? I am. Sweet. Okay, now we only need several billion cookies, so uh, get working. Okay. I can, uh, I can handle that, and you wouldn't believe how good of an idea I have. Like, I need more more trees. Uh, I have to do a little crafting. Can we come back when I've uh, managed to do that? Sounds good. I'm just gathering up more of these metal blocks. Mutuate. Okay. Sounds good, buddy. We'll be back in a minute. All right, Pahamar. You wanted a farm for cookies? I did want a farm for my cookies. Okay. Well, then I, sir, have a plan for you. That is rather exciting. 
Would you like to come see it? Yes. I guess I should probably make my way over there, huh? Yeah, come on by. Okay, we'll have a look at that, and then you need to follow me, because I found something cool. Oh, yeah? While you were off doing those shenanigans, I managed to find something exciting. Oh? Something remarkable. Go on. Something we need for later on. Oh. I'm a little bit excited. You should be. I like how we still have not dealt with that whatever that block is that spawns that wave of zombies. Yeah, I don't even want to go near that thing. Alright, I am on my way over. I see you have a bunch of wood. Yep. And Steve's factory manager. Yeah. And cocoa beans. Correct. Uh, would I be correct in assuming that you've come up with some sort of system to plant and harvest cocoa beans? You would be correct. Yeah, yeah, I'm smart. Are you watching me build in the factory manager thing? No. Because remember, well, at least we found it in 1.6 that I can't see what you're doing. Correct. So the first thing I have is a for loop, Pahamar, and it's going to go through each of the block gates. This is the one on the right, by the way. And for each block gate, it's going to take one cocoa bean out of the chest and place the cocoa bean in front of it. You ready? Okay. Okay. Ta-da! Cool. Nice. Now, the one on the left is going to go through each of the block gates, and it's going to check the inventory of the block in front of the block gate, which is the cocoa bean. So we're going to say the orange variable on whatever side. It doesn't really matter. Requires. So I'm specifying in the condition that there needs to be two or more cocoa beans in the block in front of the block gate. And if that's true, then what we're going to do is we're going to input from the block gate. Doesn't matter what side. And we'll do an empty blacklist. It doesn't matter what it is. And we will output to the chest on the north side with an empty blacklist. So what that's doing is we're going to check every block gate and we're going to say if there's two cocoa beans inside the cocoa bean in front of it, go ahead and break it and put it in the chest. You ready to come watch? Coming. Are you watching? I'm watching. What did you do to the block gates? There we go. How's that? Nice. So how do you keep this thing running all the time? You should know the answer to that question, sir. Ah, autonomous activators. What won't they do? And there you are. Ta-da! How's that? <laughs> we already have over a stack. Nice. I We're going to need a lot, I think. Or, you know what we're going to need next? Wheat. We need wheat. You, you, sir, would be correct. Would you like to do wheat, or would you like to come with me? I go on an adventure. Oh, I'll go with you. Yeah, 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 Did we have another time. soul? Did we get a second player soul thing? Soul? We do have a soul fragment. Um, I'm going to make another watering can for wheat. Does that sound cool? I want to, like, auto farm wheat so that we can do the same thing. But I'll do that separate in a minute. Yep, um, come with me. Okay, I'm coming with you. Am I going to die? No. Are you sure I'm not going to die? Well, it depends on how dumb you are. <laughs> well, then I'm going to die. <laughs> I don't think that that's... Uh... Where'd you go? I got lost. Down. Okay. All the way down? Or... All the way oh, down. My. Oh, what are you doing down here? Exploring. Oh my. Everyone knows at, you the like, bottom, at the bottom of the rotunda. Did you pump up all this stuff or did you like destroy it? No, this is all floating one layer above it. You can see over here. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. So first I, I started say, over you didn't here. Destroy that stuff, did you? And like, you can see oh. here's our supply of ender pearls. Nice. But come on yeah, over come to on. this side. Okay. 
on this side, I decided to break through that wall, and boom, bottom layer of the rotunda. Nice! So, you can see over here, tons and tons and tons of diamond blocks and gold blocks. Wow, okay. But if you come over here, I found this guy. And I thought we could crack him? it open okay. together. Dun 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 dun. Oh, there's a skystone chest. Mm hmm. Well, that's not skystone chest. Oh, it's skystone. It's the wool. Is it the wool? It's the wool, smoky wool. Nice. Dude, what is up? I got the wool. I got the you wool. You got the wool. I got the cocoa beans. You got the wool. You've done well, Pahamar. I have done well. You get a gold star. And, oh, no. What? Guess what the next one is. Uh, the nether sphere? Yes, and, oh, you didn't... I didn't what? You didn't light up the spots. Was I meant to? Yes. I thought this was your job. Anyway, yes, you have cookies, and the next place is the nether sphere hypercubed. Great. I am just so giddy with excitement. Um, I am not. I'm not excited about that at all. Can we skip that one? Yes. Is there a wimp option that we can just skip it? Possibly. Just a sec. Okay. I'm going to see about automating a farm for wheat. For the record, we have a third of a chest full of cocoa beans at this point. Like right now, our concern is wheat, not cocoa beans. <laughs> I'm going to make another reinforced watering can. Diamonds, I'm not worried about at this point. Ack, phone call. I have another reinforced watering can. Yay! Alright, so next up is a wheat farm. Um, I think I actually made a farming station from Ender.io, so I can probably just use that. And I did. Where are these guys coming from? Oh, uh, there's- that's where they're coming from. Yeah. What I'm actually thinking is I might want to use the fertilized dirt that I made. Because we don't need pumpkins anymore, right? Nope. If I can make this a fertilized dirt, that should really give us a lot of wheat really fast. How did I make that? Oh, an octodic capacitor gets me four of those. Wow, that's, that is not something I'm going to have a lot of anytime soon. Never mind about the fertilized dirt idea. Maybe a couple of them will be fertilized dirt, but for the time being, just regular. Because the reinforced uh, watering can isn't going to make it OP enough. I know. I was just having fun with it being crazy OP. Well, that is something you like to do. It is. It is. It's true. And here I am. Now, if I remember correctly, I think I want this to be on top. I have a feeling that if he put this many diamonds here, he actually has a use for it later on. Like, I don't know if it's going to be, like, carbon nanotubes or something. I couldn't even tell you. Of course you couldn't. We haven't gotten that far. Correct. Don't be ridiculous. It's funny there's so much diamond, but not a lot of gold. Yeah.
Might as well make a diamond hoe because why not? <laughs> right? You're rich. I am a little bit rich. Okay. Unless there's more surprises around here, I guess I can go take the wool back to the victory monument. Okay. You know, there's gotta be, I I have no doubt there's gotta be secrets here, but like, right. I'm not, I'm not crazy enough to go and get them. <laughs> Although there is a layer of this particular round of the Taurus that I have not gone down into. I'm trying to figure out why this thing isn't planting at the moment. There's seeds in there, there's the hoe, there's the axe. It's always active mode. All right, maybe I have to come back in a minute. I have to remember how Ender IO farming stations work. Cool. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. See you in a bit. All right, Bahamar, I am back. I got the farming station working. I was close. Uh, it goes on top of the farm instead of below it. Oops, I was nice. Close, but I a I'm trying to go into the layer of the rotunda we have not been to yet. Oh. It had a fallen knight spawner, so I'm just dealing with the leftovers. Ew. I'm stuck. I can't move. Oh, goodness. What? Well, oh, this armor's pretty good. Nice. See if this works now. And if the farming station works, then I'll hook up some pipes to it to pipe out the uh, wheat and such. Cool. Cool. I think it's working. Nice. that working? It's always great when the mobs fight each other. It is. Now we're talking. Okay, so we let that go. And then I just need some... So the I think the only area of the rotunda that we have not conquered yet is that block that spawns a wave of zombies. Oh? Yes, that is correct, yes. sir. Because yeah. I just got this layer done. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's a that's a nope. A large nope. Correct. Large amount of nope. Okay. It wasn't much exciting down here. I did get a golden helmet with an enchant on it. Alright, let's come on up.
There we go. And that should do. Well done, Hi, sir. Pahamar. Check out my wheat farm. I'm coming to check out your wheat farm. <laughs> you talk about how crowded everything is. You keep planting everything right by our machines. I, it needs power to run. You did it right on top of our enchanting Don't stuff. Don't deal with it. <laughs> You're terrible at this. <laughs> It works. Look at yes, the chest. I have no doubt it works. Look in the chest. I'd love to, but I don't know if you're on top of it. I'm not. Which chest? It's on the side oh, there. There you go. Okay, good job. Is that what you How's want to that? hear? How's that, huh? That's all right. I have a legendary bag. Oh, wow. Where'd you find that? I think I got it from handing in the wool uh, quest. Oh. Speaking of I want you to know that we've officially filled up the chest of coconut beans. Nice. Like, in about five minutes. <laughs> wow, <digest>. okay. <laughs> so, yeah, cocoa beans, were, hmm. cocoa beans are not the challenge here, honestly. It's, it's actually more about uh, the wheat. I think I'm actually going to steal the autonomous activator from over here because we've got so many cocoa beans now. I'm just going to put this one over by the farm as well. Double it up a bit. There we are. That should really help now. So we've got two reinforced ordering cans going on our wheat farm. We're kind of at the point where we might not be able to keep up with the farm, but, um... Wow. You want cookies? The sword I just got. Yeah? From the legendary bag? Toss it over. Nice. Not too shabby. The modifiers on that guy. Yeah. And it still is only plus eight damage. Mmm. Um, so I'm going to make a cookie machine real quick. You do that. Okay. Goodbye, godlike sword. I'm going to go load up the new area. Okay. Direwolf? Yes? Are you outside of the spatial I.O. area? I am, sir. I am unloading the spatial I.O. area. Okay. Is it unloaded? Probably. Loading the new area. Oh, wow, it's right off the bat, just a ball of fun. Is it? Well, there's a creeper riding a spider, a mini zombie. Oh, and there's a wither already. Oh, yeah, this is just... It's a lot of fun already? You could say that. I hear a gas, too. Nice. Oh, wow.
Let's see if I can make a little bit of a landing in here. Making a cookie faster, and I see a wither. Yep, you would. Okay, that's some semblance of safety. It's the same kind of contra contraption that we had uh, in the last area. Yep. Hmm. Where it just auto spawns like a bunch of dudes as soon as you get close. This is going to be so much more fun. I know. I mean, luckily I have this cool bow now, so I don't have any problem with lasers. It's obsidian. Yeah, whoa. What did you do? Did you, like, make a hole in the ground? I accidentally did, because it's netherrack and I have an insane pickaxe. Are you okay? Not really. There's no way I can remotely teleport you, can I? I got out. Why Oof. is there a hole in the ground, Hahamar? I told you, the nether rack breaks really easily. Well, at least I didn't fall into the void. Look, you don't need to be weird about this. We're gonna have some uh, fire protection potions here. I'm Can working I test on my it. cookie creation machine or what? Would you like to come and see the cookie creation machine and, and work? Yes. Cookies. Now you just need to yep. uh, compact them. Yeah, that's next. That's, that's step number two. Well, those mods are mobs are so loud. That should be a bit better. There's so many of them been so loud and like I'm really far away from them right now and I can still hear them. I don't know. You're making me nervous. Oi, oi, oi. Alright, I'm gonna brew up some fire protection potions. Why don't we come back in a sec? Okay. Alright, Pahamar. I think we're getting close to wrapping up here, but my cookie machine is cooking. Nice, and I'm getting us some potions of fire resistance. Sweet.
Let's see what we can do to make them even better. Uh, just redstone, that's it. Redstone makes them last longer. Let's have a look at the cookie machine. I put the watering can back over here because we're going to need more cocoa beans. You ready? Ready. Watch the chest on the right. Is that squeak? Yeah, not bad, right? So all we need I to do is... I have it going up to triple compressed cookies. Um, I figured that was a good stopping point for the auto crafting. If we want to do quadruple, we can, but I'd, yeah, I think at that point it's not necessary really to keep going. So I think we're ready to wrap up this episode. Am I correct in that thought? I think so. Would you like a potion? Um, let's let's go in and fight that stuff in there next episode. Okay. Well, I made oh, us cool. a second brewing stand because we need a lot of potions. So. Okay. So yeah, yeah dude, I think uh, I think we got this automated cooking machine pretty darn good. I'd say so. I think the only thing I need to do right now is. Um, well, one, I want to put a water source block nearby. It would be nice if you could actually hook up the wheat to the cocoa beans to the cookie machine. Just want to make sure that there's a good water source and all that stuff. Yeah, I will at some point maybe run some wiring over there or something. I, I wanted the wheat farm over here. What I could do is maybe just move the chest that stores the wheat to this side, and then it won't be too far of a push to get over to here. I could put the chest that has the cocoa beans on the other side of this thing, too, if I wanted to. That wouldn't be too hard to do. And then I could put my cookie maker over here in the middle between the two. So I'll probably move that between this episode and next. Fine. Can we unload that area? Because the winding of the zombie pigment is getting to me. <laughs> Army. Bye, Mark. Uh, I'm getting ready. Oh well, we're gonna fight him next episode. I'll unload it just for you. Better, nice and quiet. Direwolf, Direwolf, are you in there? Direwolf, did I lose you? User in your channel timed out. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back next time. Uh, this has been episode eighteen of Material Energy Hypercubed. Uh, see you later, guys. T take it easy. <laughs>